Well, speaking of a week, we're just over a week and a half until Election Day, and we're turning our attention to Clarendon County as the race for County Council Chair is heating up. Our Chris English spent the day in Manning speaking with the candidates, and he has this report. Here in Clarendon County, Manning sits among acres of farmland and agriculture as the race for County Council Chair is heating up, pitting a political leader against a political newcomer. Both men say that they're running to help their fellow citizens just to give back and to uh, improve our county and to help in any way I, I, I can and uh, enjoy working with people and I just really enjoy a, a rural county and I just uh, love the people here. Dwight Stewart is no stranger to local politics, having served on the Clarendon County Council for over 20 years. His opponent, Jay Johnson, is a political newcomer who says he's running for change. You go in every, every little country store, every restaurant, people are always complaining and, and people always want change, but nobody wants to step up and try to make change. And I just feel like I, I'm a guy that could, could help and, and do some good for our county. Both candidates say taxes are a growing concern for the county. One of the challenges in a rural county such as ours is that we have a, a a small tax base. If we as a county need to buy a fire truck or something, um, it really costs us much more per citizen than say it does in Greenville County. And certainly we want the same type of fire truck that everybody else has. We want our citizens to be safe, but uh, that's just a challenge for a county of any rural county. We got to do something to get some kind of industry in our county because um, we pay the highest property taxes of any county around us. And that's, that's one of the main concerns you hear with people is, you know, our taxes are just outrageously high compared to neighboring counties. I don't really know what we going to have to do to fix that, but that's, that's my biggest concern and, and priority one for me. The candidates offer different views about how experience plays into the role of county council chair. He just has no experience, uh, and it's just a tough job just to start right from from no experience and uh, believe me, some days you feel like you're, um, you're going about 100 miles an hour and uh, that's not fast enough. I mean, it, it's a learning experience. Anything you do is learning. Um, when you start school, you don't, you don't know how to read and write, but you learn as you go. And um, I've got just as much experience as, as, as Dwight had on day one when he, when he took office. And voters here in Clarendon County will have their opportunity to weigh in on who they'd like to see as the next county council chair coming up on November 5th. In Manning, Chris English, News 19, WLTX. And both Stewart and Johnson say that responsible spending is also important to the future of Clarendon County and that they each feel that they are the best candidate to watch over taxpayer dollars.